Hey everybody, this is Jennifer Priest, and I want to share with you an updated tour of my craft area, craft space. Um, you can see here over on the left, that is my front door, and yes, I do have concrete floors. That's why it's a little bit echoey in here. Um, that's because we are in the middle of redoing all our floors in our house. So I have these four farmhouse style tables, and these are the base of my whole area. I got these at Gottschalk's when they were going out of business. They were 25 bucks a piece, so I really lucked out on those. They're about three by five. You can see under here my rolly cart from Fiskars. This is what I used to take to crops. I have a little basket under there that's got um, some page kits in it, and then I have some uh, softbox lights here that I use for filming, and it helps keep my space really well lit up. I don't need that much light when I'm just regular crafting, but this makes it really, really bright. It doesn't seem that bright on this video, but it's really, really bright. Um, I have the, I think it's called Rack Sog cart from Ikea here that, you know, every crafter has to have. I have all kinds of different stuff in it, and this is stuff that I just want to have kind of at hand. So I have a bunch of little cups here on the side that have different tools in them, and then I also have, um, my acrylic blocks in there, adhesive, and then some larger items here on the bottom, a trash can, and I have a mat on my table. And I wanted to kind of come over here real quick and talk about this little area. So I got these thread organizers from, I want to say Joann's, I think they're the June Taylor ones. There's two of them. And this is all thread that I got from my grandma and thread that I had, so I just kind of arranged it sort of rainbow. And then I have some tickets here on a little cake plate, some spools, and random stuff, a bunch of smooch spritz. I also have acrylic paint here on a little three-tier organizer, and then a bunch of different flowers. I have felt on the bottom, paper flowers, and then stick pins and pin cushions here on the top. And then on the bottom is a bunch of library style drawers. I got these at Ikea and they all have different stuff in them. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't get these at Ikea. I got these at Hobby Lobby. Like this one has a bunch of ice resin type stuff in it and um, all kinds of jewelry findings and stuff like that. So I just turned off and moved one of the lights so that you can see this better. This is one of those Ikea Expedite bookcases. It's the five by five. Someone told me they're discontinuing these, which I think is crazy. I have three different sizes of this throughout my house. I really like these. They're great for paper because the box opening is about 13 by 13, which is perfect size for your 12 by 12 paper. And I have all kinds of different goodies in here. Bins on the bottom that have all kinds of ribbon and stuff in them. Here I happen to have all of my chipboard. And then above that I have all the different papers that are organized by color. And then just all kinds of other stuff, stamps, and all kinds of fun different things here. Now, I'm just gonna kind of rotate around. Up on top of that Expedite is a bunch of art bins. Um, and then here is kind of my die cutting and stamp center. So I have a bunch of rubber stamps there on the wall. I also have stamps in the little magazine files that are in the Expedite. So I try to keep stuff together. And then I have all my dies and die cutting systems here below that so that I can easily uh, do some die cutting. And if I open these little drawers, it has all kinds of die cutting stuff in here, like embossing folders and things that go to the Fisker's Fuse over here. I have my Big Shot out. I use that a lot, so I like to have that out. This is also from Ikea, this piece of furniture. I think it's in the kitchen section. And then moving over, I have these carts. I forget the name of these. I think they're called Alex. They're from Ikea as well. And I just have all kinds of stuff I'm working on on the top of them. And then I have a Clip It Up that is on top of the table. And that just has all of my stickers and alphabet stickers on it. I've really condensed down my stickers over the years, so I'm pretty happy with this right now. Um, I'm still just trying to work down and, and use up all these goodies. So in this set of drawers here is everything organized by color. They get a little messy and crowded because I have two colors in most of these. So this one you can tell is red and orange. 
So I have all my ink pads there in the front. This one is purple and pink. It's a little bit messier. And then I also have embellishments and I have dot boxes in the back over there. And I don't know if you can get these anymore. They're from a company called Cottage Mills and they're really handy because you can organize all your little, little items inside there. Now in this Alex Rolly, I have more tools and stuff. So this top is real messy. This one's all beads and jewelry, the first two, first two drawers up here. So it's all stuff that I use um, with my work with ice resin and, and with Prima bead. And then underneath that is all punches and more tools. And so I like these deeper drawers because you can have things piled in there pretty well. And here I have a bunch of Stampin' Up! stamp sets that actually go with some of these punches so that it's all together in one place. Now I'm standing next to my front door so you can see this is kind of the view when you come in. And um, there's my door right there. And so this is actually what you see when you first come into my house. And then I have my dining table over there and I use that for a lot of photo taking and crops and also staging and kidding. And then this area is a lot messier but this is my office and so I do work in there. This used to be my scrapbook room so if you've seen some of my older videos this is the space that I used to have all my stuff in and I still do have some items over there. All right, thanks so much for coming on this little tour of my craft space with me. I hope that you enjoyed it and that this gives you some ideas for organizing and setting up your own space.